This is one of the most tactical questions I've ever solved. It may sound funny, but it's tactical. Not that it's difficult, but if you are not careful, you are going to fail it. Now, let's do this together. Okay? First, to analyze it, it's very easy. Because when you look at 2 to the power of 22 minus 1, you can easily make this difference of 2 squares. Yes. Because you can express this as what? 2 to the power of 11 raised to the power of 2, right? Yes, since the law of indices, a to the power of m raised to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n, all right? So 11 times 2 will still give us 22. Okay, so that is the first step. So to make this difference of two squares, one is sent in as one squared. So now we have what? Two squares and difference of two squares. So the algebraic clue, uh, identity for difference of two squares is that a squared minus b squared is equal to what? a minus b multiplied by a plus b. Okay? So that is exactly what we are going to do here. That means we can express this as what? Note, our a here is going to be equal to 2 to the power of 11. Okay? And our b is equal to 1. So a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b multiplied by a plus b. So let's um, substitute these values into this place. So this simply means that 2 to the power of 11 raised to the power of 2 minus 1 raised to the power of 2 is equal to 2 to the power of 11 minus 1, right? So it's going to be 2 to the power of 11 minus 1 multiplied by 2 to the power of 11 plus 1. 2 to the power of 11 plus 1. All right, this is where it starts getting tough. Why? Because we are not allowed to use our calculator. Okay, but I'm going to simplify it for us. But before that, if this is the first time you're coming across this channel, please don't hesitate to hit on that subscription button and also on your notification bell. Yeah, so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. Okay, now let's analyze 2 to the power of 11, okay? 2 to the power of 11 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 5 plus 5 plus 1, right? Now, what does the law of indices or exponents say about something like this? It says that a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m plus n, all right? So that simply means that we can actually solve this or uh, resolve this as... as 2 to the power of 5 multiplied by 2 to the power of 5 plus what? Sorry, multiplied by 2 to the power of 1, okay? Now, okay, so this is equal to 2 to the power of 5 is so very easy. Yes, 2 to the power of 5 is 32, right? So this means 32 multiplied by 32, all right, multiplied by 2. Now, 32 multiplied by 32 means 32 squared. I'm going to give you a trick that is going to make this to be very fast. You're going to use it to solve this very fast. And those tricks are, if you go to my playlist, you are going to see max tricks. Just go through so many tricks there. It's on this page, all right? So back to the question. 32 squared. So this sentence as 32 raised to the power of 2 multiplied by 2. All right. Now let's solve this here. Let's solve this here. So 32 squared, all right, is same thing as 2 squared is 4. Write it in four digits, in two digit numbers. 3 squared is 9. Write it in two digit numbers. Now 3 times 2 is 6. Double of 6 is 12. So we add. You can see how easy it is, right? So it means that 32 squared is 1024. So you notice that we have solved this. That means that we have to multiply it by 2. And we are done with 2 to the power of 11. Abby? So let's do that. So multiplied by 2, right? So we have 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 0 is 0. And 2 times 1 is 2. So that means that 2 to the power of 11 is 2048. Yes, we are close to our solution, but not at the most sim the simplest part of it. No, 
it's still complex so let's continue let's continue now we have what recall that all this one what we've been solving is 2 to the power of 11 and we have 2 to the power of 11 plus 1 multiplied by 2 to the power of 11 minus 1 right this is what we are solving now that means this is equal to 2048 plus 1 multiplied by 2048 minus 1 okay now if we add this we are going to have another big number 2049 multiplied by 2047 how do you go about this this is another tactical part of it so but we can actually analyze this yes this same thing as 2000 plus 49 why am i breaking it down like this it's easier to multiply when you have zeros okay than when you have numbers in this way so let's put them in the in nearest thousand so this 2047 to the nearest thousand is what 2000 okay then let's bring out the remainder which is 47 so we go ahead and solve to open this bracket we are going to multiply 2000 by 2000 which is very easy because to do that 2000 multiplied by 2000 is if you write your first 2000 we have what one two three right you add the three zeros you are left with only two you multiply it by two very easy so you notice that you are going to have four here and every other thing will be zero 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 one two three one two three that means that two thousand times two will give us four thousand okay so as easy as that that means we are going to have this times this will give us four thousand okay four million sorry four million all right plus this times this is very easy as well because it's going to be forty seven thousand times two so if we take the whole of these three zeros and add to the back it becomes forty seven thousand we are going to multiply it by two now forty seven thousand multiplied by two forty seven plus forty seven will give us ninety four right so it's going to be ninety four thousand okay plus now we are done with this let's go to this 49 times 2000 is same thing right it's going to be 49,000 times 2 now 49 times 2 is going to be 98 right yes 49 plus 49 is 98 so it's going to be 98,000 all right plus now 49 times 47 this is where you just have to do your maths yeah so let's do that 49 times 47 49 times 47 now 9 times 7 we give us 63 we write 3 and carry 6 7 times 4 we give us 28 right now 28 plus 6 we give us 34 yeah 34 now we have 4 times 9 is 36 we write 6 and carry 3 4 times 4 is 16 plus 3 is 19 so we add we have 3 we have 10 carry 1 we have um 13 carry 1 we have 2 so it's 2303 three, okay so 2303 three for the last number so we have 2303 three. perfect perfect so all we need to do now is to add the whole of this but i won't go to write this and this because you can easily add that now four million plus ninety four thousand is going to be four million ninety four thousand right so i'm going to write that four million ninety four thousand okay all right now we are going to add from here to here now so we add ninety eight thousand and we are going to add 2303 so we bring this down bring down zero bring down three now this is 12 plus 2 is 14 you carry one you have 19 here you carry one bring it down and this is our final solution <laughs> i told you it looks easy but it's not easy thanks so much for watching have a lovely day bye